Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're taking a look at Bond number no. 9 lipsticks. So I purchased these from Saks and they're available at a variety of department stores and retailers. These, you know, I've been very curious to try. They are vegan friendly. They're made in the US. Bond number no. 9 is a fragrance company and Usually when a fragrance company also has a lipstick, they are fragranced, usually pretty highly fragranced. These are fragrance free. So there's really no scent to them. And that's why I was really intrigued by these. Plus they are refillable. So I picked up this set and then a refill as well. So let me just show you how they come packaged. So the refill comes in this little box. You just pull this off and then You've got paper and everything in here. And then this is the refill. So it comes in a little like cardboard tube. And this is the actual lip product. This comes out and this is what you would put in the container. Now I have to say this refill is perfectly functional on its own. I actually, this particular shade, this one is Highline. I purchased this one and was using it just as a refill because the set that I purchased only comes with one case. So let me just show you Highline here while I've got this out. But here's Highline. And all of the shades that I purchased are from the Nude or Neutral collection. And bond number nine, uh, the actual company is a New York company. So all of the names are New York names. So this is the set that I picked up. It's called the Custom Lip Set. And this is Midtown, which has Gramercy Park, Greenwich Village, and Hudson Yards. And they have an 18 month uh, shelf life. And again, they are made in the US. So this here, you've got this nice little magnetic closure. This makes a really great gift, especially if you pick it up, you know, on sale at a department store. I think it's like, it's nice. All right, so you pull that out of the sleeve. This has, you know, a magnetic closure. It's a pretty strong magnetic closure. This is like a nice box that you can keep and you know, whether you want to put lipstick in it or, or what, it's something that you could easily throw some makeup in for traveling or some jewelry or something as well. You've got the paper here. And this is how the set comes. So you have one lipstick case and this is refillable. And this, this is what the case looks like. So this is metal and inside it's metal, but you see how it kind of looks red. That's just um, like there's a red strip here and on both sides essentially. And the reflection makes the case kind of look red. <laughs> but um, then this here is the lipstick. And again, you can just mix and match these. So you can just take one case with you whenever. This shade here is Gramercy Park and one of the things that I think is very nice about these lipsticks is the actual shape of the bullet. You can see how it, it curves. It's not just a total straight diagonal. So I think that's really a nice touch. And when you go to put this in, it's a strong magnet. So uh, very nice, secure. This is weighted here. This is heavy if you're gonna carry it around in a bag. I mean, that's good or bad, depending if you want, if your bag's too heavy, but um, the fact that it is weighted, you can easily put it like in a, in a pocket or something. You don't have to worry so much about it falling out. Like for me, like if I have an interior pocket, I can just put it in there and it's not light enough that it's easy to fall into the main compartment or obviously you can use a zipper pouch or something also. And then the other shades that came in the Midtown set, this one here is Hudson Yards, which is what's on my lips right now. And this one here is Greenwich Village. Now, there are additional lipsticks from bond number nine. They have a lot of reds and everything as well. But these are the four that I picked up. So again, we have Highline, Gramercy Park, Hudson Yards, and Greenwich Village. So looking at these shades, Highline, you know, next to all of these others, it looks a little bit rosier, but on its own, it really is more of a, like a peachy shade. So it's like rose with peach mixed in. 
And you can see that these are fairly opaque with one swipe. And then you can obviously build them up to be a little darker and they have a natural sheen to them. Like a, there's no sparkle, but the way the light reflects gives it a natural sheen. And then when we move on down to Gramercy Park, you can see that this is really gonna be more of a brown shade. There's a touch of pink in here, but it's mostly like a, a warm brown with a, a little bit of a reddish tint to it. And then Hudson Yards is the lightest and online I feel like this one looks more like a nude pink. There's a little, it is a nude pink, but it's actually more brown than pink. It's like just a touch of pink in there. And then Grandmatch Village is actually more like of a, a russet shade. You can see even though it's considered one of the nudes or the neutral shades, it's very much of a like a soft reddish shade with some brown in there. So, I mean, it's almost a red. These lipsticks with the actual case retail for 105 US dollars if you pu uh, purchase a case with one of the refill shades. And the refills on their own cost 45 US dollars. And then of course, I think the best value is buying the set like I did and then you can you know you've got quite a few options to you know kind of play with there now as for the texture of these they have more of a creamy vinyl texture to them they go on very smoothly they are fairly opaque on the lips and they last fairly well as well and I feel like a little bit of that vinyl texture you know like a like the Yves Saint Laurent lip vinyls and things like that, you know, that that texture that you get in some of those lip products, you have that in there and it really helps the color stay put on the lips. And it also makes it feel smooth on the lips. Um, it's not the thinnest texture. It's not thick. I would say it's probably about a medium thickness on your lips. It doesn't feel heavy but it also doesn't feel weightless. So you can feel that there is product there. When I smack my lips together, there is just a little bit of tack adhering them to each other, but it's not sticky. So if I go and, uh, you know, it's, it's not gonna be a sticky texture that everything's sticking to, like if my hair is flying to my face and things like that. So as for the lipstick formula itself, I feel that this is a really nice formula. It's very smooth on the lips. It's comfortable, it's long lasting. And, you know, it gives you opacity without feeling very heavy on the lips. I also feel like it's very difficult to find a nice, smooth lipstick that is fragrance-free. A lot of fragrance-free lipsticks, I feel like they end up having either a heavier texture or, you know, they have some sort of scent to them from natural ingredients and so forth in them. And this really has like no scent to it. So I really, really appreciate that aspect. And, you know, again, it is a vegan lipstick as well. So I know that that is very important to some people. So it's definitely a characteristic worth highlighting. Now, I personally really like the formula of this. The colors that I picked up, I feel like they do skew differently in real life than they do from the promotional photos online. I feel like the promotional photos online are a little bit cooler and pinker overall, and perhaps even a little bit, um, just a little bit lighter than they are in real life. So I think that these shades are very nice. They're technically in the neutral category, but I was expecting them to be just a little bit, a little bit cooler in tone than they are. They are neutral, but they're neutral, leaning a little bit warm in my opinion. And I feel like, um, you know, that's just something that's very good to know when you are picking out a color because it is not easy to find these at all stores in person. They're much more easily accessed online. So just something to know if you are looking if these lipsticks are something that you are interested in trying, I would definitely recommend taking a look at these when one of the department stores is having a sale or a gift card event or something and going one of two ways, either picking up a refill on its own just to test the color and the formula 
or going ahead and investing in one of these sets. Purchasing just this on its own is not as cost effective, in my opinion, as getting the whole set. Or, well, that's not even an opinion, that's a fact. It's more cost effective to purchase this set than to purchase it individually. But if you're really unsure if you're going to like it and you don't necessarily want to get a refillable case, I would definitely recommend trying this. Highline itself is probably the most popular of the neutral shades. Uh, I know a lot of people have raved about Highline in particular and it is not available in one of the sets, which is why I picked this one up separately. So that's just something to note. But again, these are typically included in some of those like Saks 15% off sales and things like that. So I think that would definitely be a good opportunity if this is a brand that you're interested in trying. Now, I also want to mention if you're interested in the refills, yes, these fit in the bond number nine refills, obviously, but if you are, if you have like La Bouche Rouge packaging, or if you prefer these refillable containers, these do lock in as well. So you can see there's like a little gear shape in here, which means that refills do not always mix between brands, but this actually does when you can turn it properly to get it locked in there and then it has a magnetic closure. So these are compatible with the La Bouche Rouge cases. And La Bouche Rouge cases, they have like a vegan leather case. They also have regular leather cases and so forth. You can get them with initials and so forth. And I have seen the bond number nine where you can get them engraved at certain places as well. And occasionally they will have a silver case out for the holidays. But, you know, pick and choose what you prefer. Um, but it's, it's something good to know because I know, especially with La Bouche Rouge, they've been coming out with a lot of different color cases recently that are limited edition. And I know some of you have been buying these cases without having a lipstick to go in them. So if you'd like to branch out and try another brand, these do fit in there. So I hope this has been helpful. I'd love to know if you've tried the Bond Number no. 9 lipsticks and what your thoughts are on them and if this is a brand you're interested in in general. So overall, I have to say that I do really like them. I wish they had some slightly cooler in tone shades than they actually do in this particular range, but I would purchase these again. So, and I would, if they come out with some new shades that are a little cooler, I would definitely take a look at them. So one more time, we have Highline, Gramercy Park, Hudson Yards, and Greenwich Village. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.